Hey everyone, and welcome back to Well Informed Bots. So we've done our research, or at least a Tiny kind bit. of quick <laughs> Wikipedia skimming of the overall plot of the Red Faction games. And I think we came in through there, didn't we? I don't know. It was very enlightening. So, yes. the first Red Faction game is Earth is running out of resources. They send Ultor Corporation, which I think was mentioned a little bit earlier in this game, to go more or less mine out Mars and take as much crap as they could. And... That Capic guy, the uh, mad scientist, was actually behind a plague that was killing the miners. Yep. Uh, I think that was his face in the. Uh, yep, in that. Uh, yeah, in the one like temple-y thing. Okay, so, uh, main character of that game really has no bearing on the name Red Faction. I don't think they even mentioned it. No. Not but really. takes out Capic, does some other things, whatever. Second game, Red Faction's a group of, like, rebels, and, like, the Earth is trying to keep well, everything under control. Well, they're controlling the nanotechnology that Cape had used in the previous game. Yeah, more or less just Earth was being a giant bag of dicks and doing terrible things to a lot of the, like, Martian workers. And so... Well, also, they were souping up people to be their super soldiers. There's, like, this so so put guy or something. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, so Earth was doing bad things. Red Faction becomes like this mercenary slash rebel faction. But they get wiped out a couple of times. Yeah, they get wiped out a couple of times, but, you know, whomever the main character is solves all the problems, yada, yada, yada. Third game, Gorilla stars or starts sometime a little bit after that. Earth is still kind of up to its shenanigans. Also, doesn't it include this guy's father or yes. grandfather? Yes, Alec Mason, this guy's dad, I believe. And Alec Mason testifies against the Earth Defense Force, which makes him a target. They try and off him, and the Red Faction rescues him. Conveniently. So, uh... He... And then it's all about their guerrilla war efforts, and they actually team up with the Marauders. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mason's mission at first is just to, like, keep an eye on the Marauders to see if they're up to no good. And at first they are, and, you know, they fight a lot, and you know, kind of generic. But eventually, Earth sends the Hydra, which is this, like, crazy spaceship, to blow them all up, at which point the Marauders... John's been missing for six days now. They say I have to sign the papers to declare him dead. I just can't. He's still alive. I know it. Okay. Oh, that's the woman from earlier. Yep. I don't know why I just instinctively opened that up. So, yeah, there is stuff up here. Yeah, so, and then the Marauders say, you know, after the war... Just give us some of the nanotech. Give us the... There's, like, a nano forge. Yeah, the nano forge is the thing to attached to Mason's arm, so I assume it's a semi-exclusive technology. Mm-hmm. But, so... So, that's uh, interesting. I wonder when the Marauders really became culty and this hail guy came into the picture. Uh, probably in between the uh, two games. I mean, I, I assume the thing is, like, neither the Marauders or Mason have been particularly good friends. Wait. And so when, uh, I guess between Gorilla and this game, I, I'm i going to un operate under the assumption that the Red Faction did not give away the Nano Forge in any way, shape, or form, and that pissed the Marauders off in a bad way. And I'm sure Shell could look it up some more, but I don't think we need it. So, more or less, the Red no, Faction became from the, I guess, the rebel faction that was, like, protecting Mars slash, like, going against uh, Earth, the Earth Defense Force to eventually becoming kind of the impromptu militia slash government-ish. But it seems like they have ties with Earth at this point. Or at least some amount of collaboration, considering... They don't say that the Nano Forge was given to them at the end. Yeah, so, so I don't believe the Marauders got the Nano Forge. Otherwise, they'd probably be a little bit less pissy. I don't know. But the Marauders were like a warrior tribe out in like an inhospitable part of Mars that nobody would normally be dealing with. But they were kind of violent. And then I guess they've Halo upped their game. Mars. It's time to take matters into our own hands. It's time to fight Darius Mason and make him pay for what he's done to us. Okay, enough of this bullshit. 
These people need to know the truth. That's a... Uh, uh, stop fiddling around with your nose. Sheesh. It's so itchy. It's so dry. I don't like the winter. All right, let's go with the jumpy farts. Nope, that didn't work as Ouch. well as I was hoping it would. It didn't hurt that much. I mean, if I was playing on a harder difficulty, it probably would have killed me, but, uh... Well, I'm so glad I played on casual. Birdcatcher, deal with it. <laughs> Birdcatcher is making fun of me for playing this on an easy difficulty. We didn't hit the timer, did we? No, we didn't. That and your tablet just turned off. Oh, it, it, the screen goes to sleep after a while. Ooh, shiny. I Careful, want... things are spitting on you. Yeah, look at how much damage it's doing to me. Minimal amounts. Okay. Goodbye. That's not... Where's the last enemy? There there you are. There you go. <laughs> I love that. Energy. What's that? Oh, that's more ammo. Ammo. Is there anything around here that... Where am I going? Over to Bastion. Let's just go. I think I've got enough upgrades, and when it comes down to it, they're kind of meaningless in this game, it seems like. Alright, so... I guess that's pretty much the plot of the Red Faction games in a can. There we go. Mm -hmm. Not really? exactly the most unique of things, but eh, it works. I just kind of wish they had like a short summation or like something somewhere. The that, history? Yeah. Cause, they, they anticipate that if you've played this game, you will have played the previous ones. But, yeah, but yeah. I really don't want to go all the way back to Red Faction 1 and 2, which look terrible at this point. I mean, it's interesting because there are actually quite a few game series in which games are fairly standalone. You don't necessarily need to have played the previous ones in order to understand what's going on. Yeah. Well, let's go to Bastion. That goddamn swarm came out of Bradbury Canyon. Same place you were headed, Mason. Hey, it's not what you think. Were you there or not? Look, it was supposed to be a drill job, that's all. It was an accident. Come on now, you all know me. Yeah, you're the one who unleashed hell on us all. How he didn't think that was what a bad idea. Is that smell? We appear to be in Bastion's waste processing center. So the garbage dump. Great. How do we get out of here? Calculating. I'm gonna name this episode Welcome to it's Poopsville. Because <laughs> that's where we are. We're in Poopsville. Still creatures incoming. Of course there are. We we start going super informative and then poop happens. Great. Thanks, Red Faction. Way to liven up things. Oh, hey. Blasto, Changeo, Kablamo. Punch! Yeah! I like the punching in this game. It's very explosive. I don't know. I think... I think we're actually pretty close to the end of this game. Really? Um, so there are 13 chapters in the game, and when we started recording, we were halfway there. We were at, like, 6 out of 13. So... Judging by us going up to the surface now, it probably means we're getting close. Alright, so we can actually upgrade some stuff. Actually, we can upgrade many things soon. I love it that all the upgrades are still the same price across the board. Alright, stopping power. And where's the one about explosives? Uh, here we go. And we'll go from there. So... I think we're actually pretty close, because we go up to the surface, and then... Hello, what are you doing here? <laughs> we go up to the surface, and then we probably fix things. I mean, maybe we run into Kara out there. 
because nobody likes her. Oh! Maybe she used to be a marauder? But that was what they did in the last game. I don't know. But it seems semi-likely considering that bearded guy's reaction to her in the beginning. I'm just going to ignore the enemies until they actually feel like fighting me well, instead of just jumping all over the place. I think he called her a scavenger or something. Oh, you're right, you're right. I don't know, he just seemed like a grade A uh, dick one way or another. Considering he, uh, considering everybody's just like, well, you know, clearly we've got like crazy problems going on, so what are we going to do? We're just going to uh, winch, witch hunt the guy that did this to us and um, hope all of our problems go away because of it. I don't know. I, I don't know why that always seems like the appropriate response in, like, human nature to go after anyone and everyone at fault before fixing it, the problem. It's probably like in all those medieval towns where if a plague rolled through, they would kill some random girl because That's they true. thought she was some sort of... This guy's becoming a major pain in my ass. I hope we get to shoot him. Gluteal. We need to get out of here. If they catch us. Did she mean Gluteus Maximus? Yes, she did. She was being saucy. <laughs> oh, I see. She was reacting to his joke. Yeah, about pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. <laughs> wow, you're slow on the uptake. Hey! I got that instantly, and I was just like, now that is a tacky joke. I mean, it works within everything, but it's still... I understood what she said, but... You were thinking way too literally. Don't I always? Probably. But you're the one with the tacky jokes. You're supposed to get these things. I still got it. Eventually. I see him! I see him! Blow the charges! Oh, idiots! Seriously. So they're gonna destroy everything just to get to him. Incoming really? Transmission. You sure know how to make friends, huh? Kara? What the hell happened to you? Let's just say you were right about that job. Then you actually did release the bugs. Yeah, afraid so. Where are you? Near the market. Better hurry. It won't be safe for long. She just like never left. She's been there the entire time and Mason's just kind of stupid. And the AI with Mason. I love it that they're still trying to pursue Mason instead of doing anything productive. Ooh, shinies. Mm -hmm. Like, if I were people in this position, I would be like, alright, well... We'll we... still need every man. Yeah, we can go kill Mason later. Let's, let's focus on the real problem right now. Nope. These pipes aren't looking good. Too much condensation building up on the outside. Shit rusts a lot faster since the terraformer blew. And then the pipe leaks and the water starts eating away at the rock. It's like this all over. I don't know how we're gonna fix it. We got maybe a year or two before the whole system collapses. I told you the environment was humid. It's strange. It's Mars. It's not supposed to be humid. But look, he's saying that water's condensing everywhere and everything's Shit, rusting. Sam, find us another route. Calculating. Was that the face you were making at me? You realized I was right? That yeah. things were moist everywhere? Meh. Not my fault. But, like, <laughs> seriously, Mars is super dry. Why would it be moister? Well, they seem to explain that the terraformer blowing up contributed it to some respect. I guess. Okay, so there's, like, stuff over here. Let's go get it. I don't know. It still doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe somebody can throw some more science at us in the comments, and I kind of hope they do, because it would be uh, interesting to know why. Or maybe it's just BS science in this game, and they're well, just being nonsense also, again. I mean, who knows what the subterranean Mars is, if there even is a subterranean Mars. True, but like... I don't know. I wouldn't ex Yeah, we're gonna have to kill Beardo. Or did he just get eaten? I hope he could just... Nope, he's still alive. Uh... I was about to get really excited. Crystals. Where do you think you're going, Mason? Aw, oh, shit. Ain't nobody gonna save you now. We don't have time for this. Let's see if this old thing still works. Oh, God. Okay. 
Okay, so it's slight time delay on my uh, desires, but hey, my wishes came through. Uh, true. Dude got shit. And you didn't even have to li lift your finger in the ever so heroic fashion. It's not so heroic killing a dude. Well, well it's not heroic. Yeah, yeah, the market, I know. I'm almost there. No, I Transmission lost. Don't worry about it. We're almost there. She's probably telling you not to go there at this point. Yeah, there's probably like a whole trap. Maybe the marauders are in the market waiting for us. Ooh, that would be a thing. I like the fact that uh, pressing left trigger snaps me know. to the nearest enemy. What I meant about the whole heroic thing is that when in a story, in a plot, they want to portray the main character in a good light, but still want a way to off the villain. The villain is usually off. <laughs> so we're themselves. back to our Disney thing yes. again. Yes. I I guess it kind of did happen in a way. Except for he wasn't even really a villain. We haven't even gotten to Hale, who I would say is the real villain. Eh, he still... probably tries to control the superpower thingamajig. Yeah, I still think he's going to end up it. fused with whatever the aliens are or something crazy like that. Mm-hmm. Hello. This place looks like it's seen better days. Let's see if I can fix it up before I hop down there. The answer is no. Doesn't look like it. But nah. No, it, it is the sort of Disney-esque thing where... Oh. Hmm? Tacos. Loco Parco Tacos. Wait, wait, no, go back. It's Loco Parker. Oh, so did I actually, say Parco? They named it after one of the previous characters. Ooh. They're all <laughs> bra braised tacos? I said it's brassed. Bracasos. Brios. Breakfast tacos. Breakfast. Breakfast tacos. Breakfast taos. What? Breakfast tacos. Breakfast taos. Like, breakfast toast. Clearly didn't Bros work on... tacos. Brios. <laughs> breakfast. Yeah, just keep going. Beverage. <laughs> the beverages are breakfast tacos. <laughs> I can zoom this way. The oh, side orders: God. breakfast tacos. <laughs> breakfast. Breakfast. Lunch tacos. <laughs> breakfast. Tacos. We're gonna say. <laughs> they should just say this is what we serve. No, no. Breakfast that, tacos. That, just menu. Two words. Breakfast tacos. I don't know. I'm still happy with how that turned out. <laughs> Even under beverages. I was like, I wonder what they put under the beverage. Oh, it's just more breakfast tacos. That's, that's lazy. Come on. That's gonna, awesome. I like that. Gonna Here, I'm going to switch the to the rocket launcher. Put making a sign. At least make it accurate. Uh, totally fine with that. Now, what would a Martian taco joint actually have for beverages? It's just like think? sand. Sand, sand in a glass. No. Hell yeah. Finally some good news. It'd probably be like lichen juice. I, Freshly grown lichen. I assume I'm going to through a here. to pulp until all its liquids come out. Yep, this is where I'm going. Which means I'm going this direction. Loot, loot, loot. Oh, there's your favorite suit again. Yeah, the exosuit. I am so happy they included this in this. You know, I would actually love to play a game. Not like Mech Warrior, but instead of being Master Chief or anything like that, you're just a dude in an exosuit. Then you can upgrade it and do cool things with it? Yeah. Like... Isn't that what X is going to be? Uh, we will see. But I think that's going to be a JRPG that you spend a fair amount of time out of the super suit. But still, it did show some footage of the super suit flying around. That is true. And I am excited for it, nonetheless. But I think you're going to be spending a lot of your time, like, out and about doing other things, too. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, uh... One, one thing I always liked about the Armored Core games is, like, you could pick what legs you had, what, like, arms you had, the, like, overall chassis. And so you could have a relatively unique super suit. Okay. I think I saved. Right? Right. We are saved. Good. Yeah, my yeah. computer every once in a while yells at me. I think this has happened once before on the show or maybe twice. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? So, like, the Armored Core games, you could have, like, four legs. You could have hover mode. You could have, like, a whole buttload of like cool things that would happen Whatever you do, stay out of the market. a little late for that tacos 
Who, who cares? We got tacos. But, like, it would be very cool to have... We had tacos last night, sort of. Sort of. Uh, we didn't have any meat around the house, so it was no, just we all didn't. veggies. We are the laziest of people. <laughs> I right, wanted to so go shopping go. today. Food, sustenance. Yeah, we were going to go see the Lego movie, but then we didn't go see the Lego movie, so it's like... Eh. Um, we'll, we will go. Blasto, changeo, explodo. All right, so this is probably a great stopping point for the episode. Uh, what did I say I was going to call it again? Why? It's only 15 oh, minutes. All welcome to Poop Time. No, we forgot to start it early. Remember? Uh, yep. So, we will continue this on the next episode, and I will continue to bemoan the fact that there hasn't been any good, like, mech-based FPSs in a while. All right, so we'll see you guys then. Eh, I'm about what to burp, about, and it's awkward. Uh, Warframe and stuff. Uh, well, those are more suits rather than mechs. Yeah, it's not quite the same. <laughs> not quite the same. It's close, but not the same. Wait, what's the rock say? Uh, we will ro read the rock. Get, get, get That's boring. Uh, oh, hey. Well. I think there's an enemy over there. Alright. I want it. There we go. They're dead. And so is that sign. Yeah! Alright, see you guys later.